Denzel Washington and Mark Wahlberg as a team. Did it work? Well, you have to stay tuned to find out. Two Guns comes from the director of Contraband and stars Mark Wahlberg, Denzel Washington, and Bill Paxton. And it follows two men who are undercover, which Denzel Washington is undercover for the DEA, and Mark Wahlberg is undercover for the Navy. When both of these characters rob a bank together, and it leads to basically some sort of new twist and turn with both sides of Mark Wahlberg and Denzel Washington, which leads to them having to work together and work on the other side of the crime. Now, I wasn't really excited for this movie. Um, I just thought it was going to be some good popcorn entertainment because I did enjoy Contraband, but uh, I just didn't really think it was going to be too exciting, which this movie was a little bit better than I thought it was going to be, but definitely not by much. With Mark Wahlberg and Denzel Washington was a big reason why I wanted to see this movie because I love both those actors. And I think that they did really good as a team. I think that they had good chemistry, I think they acted well together, I think they were funny together, and they were entertaining together. Denzel Washington, he can be good in any movie. Um, he did a good job in this movie, he was very funny, he was very entertaining. And But just sometimes his character really wasn't really entertaining as much as Mark Wahlberg. Mark Wahlberg was definitely one of the best parts of this movie, if not the best part of this movie, because I think he did a very, very good job in this film. I thought he was really, really funny, which his character was written very well and was really, really funny and how his character was an idiot and he just said, like, whatever, I'm an idiot. So what? Which doesn't stop him from having a lot of badass moments in this film. Bill Paxton, I thought, did a pretty good job as an antagonist. I think he was a pretty good villain, he was entertaining, and he was very good at portraying a bad guy, which I've never really seen Bill Paxton play a big villain in an action movie. I've seen him act like um, some sort of villain in, like, a, if, if you've seen Frailty, he was kind of a villain in that film. But I think he portrayed this role really well, and I think it was a good antagonist, which I never, never see from Bill Paxton. So, good job. And other supporting cast, like Paula Patton, did good, which it wouldn't have mattered because I was mainly be focused on her looks. And James Marsden, I just thought was decent. He was nothing really special. Now, when I saw the trailer for this film, I knew that this movie was going to have a lot of action. And oh boy, it did. And the action was pretty good. Some scenes I thought were really good, some scenes I thought were just okay, and some I thought were just stupid and pointless. But most of the time it wasn't stupid and pointless. I mean, there were only a couple, but most of these action scenes I thought were very, very well put together. I think it was edited very well, you could understand what was happening, which is very, very good for an action movie, which most of the time there's a bunch of crappy, shaky camp, and you don't really know what's going on, but in Two Guns, that wasn't a problem. And as I mentioned earlier, a big, big help with this movie is the whole duo of Mark Wahlberg and Denzel Washington. I thought they worked great together, and I really don't think it could have been acted very better with specific characters like they were written. But minus the whole awesome action, the movie was written horribly. The writing was definitely not good at all here. I was confused a lot during this movie. There were so many new twists and turns and it was all over the place. I couldn't really focus on what was going on. I didn't understand what was going on most of the time. And it just left me very, very pissed off. I mean, I really wanted to understand the plot because I was really entertained with the whole duo of Denzel Washington and Mark Wahlberg, and I wanted to have a very, very good story. And I think if it was written better, this could have been a damn good film. But it just had a bunch of horrible storylines that were just so pointless and stupid, and it was all over the place. It was just so, so poorly done. And as I mentioned with the bad action scenes, like I mentioned earlier, that weren't as much. But there was a like a car chase. I didn't really didn't think that was entertaining. And there were some shoot-up scenes I thought were just stupid and cliched that we've seen in many action films that we just don't want to see again. Overall, Two Guns has some mixed goods. Its action is very, very well. Denzel Washington and Mark Wahlberg are very good together. But the writing was just so bland and so all over the place that it really lost my entertainment value. I don't really think that you really should see this movie in theaters. I think of this more as a rental film. But if you guys are a big like Mark Wahlberg fan or Denzel Washington fan, or a fan of both of them, I think you'd have a good time. If you just want to see some good action, then you're definitely going to get here. If you don't really care about the story, then you're perfectly fine. I'll be giving Two Guns a C+. That is my review of Two Guns, guys. And I really hope you enjoyed it. And I'm Lucas Stringer. I'll see you guys later.